welcome back. If you're new, my name is Ashley and this is Agent Renovation. At Agent Renovation, we help new and existing agents with winning systems and processes to help beat the levels of the real estate game. I have a very exciting topic for you and we're gonna go over how we use our visual CRM to plan our bus stop takeover. In case you don't know, bus stops are one of our favorite marketing pieces to use. We do find that they work, and in our neighborhood, they work up to about $13 a day per stop. That's less than your Starbucks. I always eat a rice cookie at Starbucks, so, you know, it's 13 bucks every time. <laughs> bus stops are a really good management of resources and the real estate game. Because from your bus stop, you get hundreds and hundreds of people driving by. But not only do you have hundreds of people driving by, you have hundreds of the same people driving by every single day. So guess what happens? It's repetitive marketing and they can't help but get to recognize you eventually. It happens on a subconscious level. You know back in the day they used to say in marketing, it took seven touches for somebody to remember you. That's not true anymore. Recently a study found that that number has increased to 21 touches. And that's because in our modern world of technology, we are overstimulated in every direction and the brain has to work very hard to keep up. So if you truly want to get noticed, bus stops are a great way to have repetitive action and touches on your prospecting farm. I'm going to show you how we use our visual CRM to place our bus stops and plan them on our giant game board. This keeps everything front and center for us. We know exactly which locations we have active at any point, where they are, and then we look at our map and the patterns on it to see if those are winning areas. If they're winning areas, the bus stops get to stay. If they're not winning areas, we retract our resources and we take them to our winning zone. So come a little closer and let's have a closer look together. You can see here that we've actually printed individual, they're just taped on, individual bus stops. These are replicas of our current bus stop. I am the face of all of our bus stops and that is because of the traction I have in our farming areas. We know that my face is the best bet for anyone on our team to get a listing. So then we put it, you see our map actually has spots for transit. Ta-da! When we purchase a bus stop, we mark it on our visual CRM. We want to see where our bus stops are, where are our resources, where are we spending dollars, and are we getting the mileage out of those dollars that they deserve? If they are, they get to stay. If they're not, we always course correct. At any given time, we are extremely aware of our resource levels. We look at the resource levels in our game of real estate, the same as you would in a video game. How much money do we have? How much time do we have available? How many minutes? How many dollars? How much energy? And we look at all those different components to make up our resources and then how we're gonna allocate them. Resource allocation is the name of the game in real estate because you can pay to play in real estate. You can also manipulate resources to help you earn more dollars that you're able to spend in your farming zones. If you guys haven't heard the podcast episode yet, we have an entire podcast episode all about resources in your agent life and how to manipulate your resources aka resource allocation to get more mileage out of your dollars. So that's it for today's video about our visual CRM. If you guys enjoyed this topic and you want to learn more about our strategies and how we use our visual CRM, our door knocking masterclass is now live. With every little detail you could ever need to know about door knocking and farming, we really have mastered the game and we're ready to share it with you. So as always, leave me a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!